Welcome to this short uh, presentation on modern requirements. Uh, so before I talk about modern requirements, let me just explain how modern requirements fits into Azure DevOps, and that'll provide a little bit of context of what our tool does. So Azure DevOps is a great place for developers and uh, quality assurance teams to add in their pieces of a project. For developers, Azure DevOps provides the ability to add in repos. For your quality assurance team, it offers the ability to add in test plans. But what would be really nice is that the features of Azure DevOps were extended so that your requirements management team could work in here as well. And that way you could have a single source of truth model where your development tasks can be tied directly to requirements and your requirements can be tied directly to test cases. And so that's what Modern Requirements provides. We fill that gap in Azure DevOps for requirements management. So what do we provide? We provide many different uh, impactful features to some of the native modules of Azure DevOps. Those impactful features would be things like building in a reporting tool because there isn't one in native Azure DevOps. We add in these extra features to places like the backlogs, the sprints, and the queries, which again are the native modules provided with Azure DevOps. So these features that we add into the native modules can be found in any of the context menus here at the bottom. They allow you to do things like reuse work items, uh, create baselines, build reviews, and even report on the work items that you have in your project. You can find those from compare down to MR artifacts. But Modern Requirements also provides many different capabilities that you can explicitly visit. Now, the first one I want to show you is this Smart Docs tool. And this is one of our authoring and elicitation tools. It replaces the need for Microsoft Word in any project by allowing you to build documents directly online in your project. You can create folders, store your documents, fully version your documents all the way uh, back, as well as uh, uh, compare those versions to each other so you can see not only how your documents are changing, but also the requirements that live in your documents as well. Now, modern requirements documents allow you to, or smart docs rather, allow you to bi-directionally link your requirements that are in documents to your project. What that means is if you're over in the backlog and you change a requirement, you don't need to go find all of the different uh, documents that requirement is in and change those as well. The changes get reflected automatically. This cuts down on the time that your BAs uh, spend finding requirements in different assets and updating them appropriately. So you can go ahead and buy or build your documents in your project, as well as keep them bi-directionally synced with the requirements that are in your project as well. So we provide the ability to insert requirements from your backlog into your documents, as well as build brand new requirements into your project from the document interface. Now, once these documents are built, you even have the option to output them WYSIWYG using Word and PDF, as well as support, smart report them so that you can customize how this document looks when you output it. You can even invoke document reviews directly from the smart, smart Docs module or turn your document into a baseline quickly. Now, SmartDocs is only one example of the authoring and elicitation tools that we provide. Some of the other authoring and elicitation tools we provide are things like our FAQ module, which will allow you to build question lists so that you can sit with a stakeholder and use question lists that yourself and your BAs create to elicit the proper requirements on a specific topic. Now, we provide over 19 pre-built topic lists that include over 3,000 questions already. And what this means is that you can go ahead and build answers to questions, and those answers can be actual requirements that you have in your project. And while you're sitting with your stakeholder, you can open up the requirement you've just created and capture all of the necessary information so you cut down on that post uh, elicitation communication with stakeholders. We also allow you to create those diagrams, and our diagrams tool uh, actually goes a step further by allowing you to not only build a diagram, but also to link requirements directly to your diagram, and even go ahead and publish pathways through your diagram that are automatically identified as requirements. So here you can see that I've linked requirements to my diagram. I could also take this node and explicitly define it using a diagram, a mockup, or a use case. Or again, 
find all of the pathways through my diagram automatically and publish those as a user story or whatever type of requirements your team creates. Now, what's great about using the Modern Requirements tools is that it doesn't matter where you're creating a requirement in Modern Requirements, the requirements you create will be better and more contextual, which will help your team more effectively task out what needs to get done in your project, and it eliminates a lot of the time spent doing manual effort tasks. So you can publish requirements automatically from here. You can also automatically publish all the test cases through a diagram. Um, but we have several different authoring and elicitation tools available for you, not just those three. You can also make your mockups and your use cases, as well as have an equivalent for OneNote where you're creating those assets in your project. So what else do we provide? Well, we provide the functionality to the native modules. We also provide authoring and elicitation tools, but we even include the ability to move requirements through your project lifecycle automatically. And how do we do that? Well, we help you build online reviews that are CFR 21 Part 11 compliant because they have online e-signatures. Now, your team can participate in reviews to facilitate the changes that need to take place in requirements. But you can also send a review to a stakeholder who can participate for free using the Modern Requirements Stakeholder License. Now the reviews will help you facilitate change by having people open up a requirement, looking what's in that current requirement, and commenting on what needs to change. You will then have your approvers come in, read the changes that are requested, and approve a requirement if they don't actually need the changes, or reject it if the change must take place. This means that you have every single team member participating in the same place, regardless of the role. So you can have your team drive towards change using comments, and have your approvers approve or, rejection, approve or reject a work item based on those changes that are needed. And then you can go ahead at the end of a review and include any of the um, change requests that are required. So if we make this rejection, we could go ahead and, if we're the person who sent the review, attach a ch formal change request so that you never miss the opportunity to um, formally get and capture the changes that need to happen to work items. So the idea is, is that you're facilitating changes in the same place that you're creating those requirements. And once you're finished a, a review, whether you choose to do it as a list or as a document review, where you can compare how a document has changed and approve and reject those individual changes, right? You also have the ability to create one-click audit reports so that you can actually uh, have some auditability and some traceability through your project as you move through the lifecycle. Now, one of the things that's nice about our reviews is that if you're reviewing a set of requirements that are new and you approve them, you can have them automatically change into the approved state so that your developers can start working on requirements as soon as they're ready and not have to wait until the entire review process has completed. But once you've finished a review, you're ready to create a baseline, and our baselines that we allow you to create are simple to, cr uh, simple to make and easy to interact with. And they allow you to do some wonderful things like being able to uh, take an entire set of work items and move them to another server, collection, and project. So you can reuse those work items in that project and get started on new projects much more quickly. You can also use this tool to build up repositories of requirements and libraries of requirements so that you can pull down from those libraries anytime you need a certain subset of requirements. Now we also let you roll back entire sets of work items using our rollback tool or do comparisons of two separate baselines so you can see exactly how requirements have changed from one release to another release or even go through and see how requirements have changed over the course of an iteration. It'll, these compare baselines will also show you not just the deltas, but any requirements that were added or removed during that course of time. And finally, Modern Requirements offers you the ability to trace requirements all the way through your project. So you can build a traceability matrix in roughly 15 seconds that shows you end-to-end -end traceability of your project. Um, 
and this is incredibly helpful for auditability purposes. So I can go in and make a new trace matrix for my project, call it trace matrix. We say we're going to build a horizontal matrix for end-to-end -end traceability. And I can go ahead and see how my business requirements throughout my project go into stakeholder requirements, which go into functional requirements, which then go into their test cases, and which then show up as bugs. And just like that, we created traceability for our entire project. We're able to run that matrix and see how this business requirement turns into stakeholder requirements, how those stakeholder requirements turn into functional requirements, those into test cases, and those test cases into bugs. So you can trace your project all the way through. And again, it only took about 15 seconds to create. And we also let you manage the relationships between requirements. You can build an intersection matrix that shows you one set of requirements against another, and you can have one-to-one -one or many-to-many, -many, and actually add in relationships between those projects, like adding test coverage to this version management requirement. We simply select the relationship type we want this functional requirement to have to that test case. I'll stick with related, and we hit OK. So instead of having to open up two sets of work items, I can simply click on the, where they intersect, choose the link type, hit enter, and quickly create the relationships between two sets of work items. So that's how Modern Requirements works. It allows you to add in some great functionality to the native Azure DevOps tools, as well as gives you explicit tools for things like building assets like documents, diagrams, or question lists inside your project for that single source of truth model. And then we give you workflow tools like the review for facilitating change, baselines to capture and identify change, as well as the trace analysis tool to help you monitor requirements and their relationships across your entire project.